This is the ultimate zombie apocalypse pack and it is a photo bag that you can use. So what do I like about this and why is the hazard fold should be the perfect EDC for you? Progressively this is all tactical looking, something the military might actually carry. And this is the recon style for it. In fact, talking about recon, that's what the military actually uses. They have a recon pack for a wide variety of different purposes. So this specific one has a few things that make this the ultimate recon pack. And first off, right on the top here, it opens up and zip this. And of course, nobody can get in here if this thing is tactically closed like this. So opening it up, it jumps up and voila, we can go ahead and open this up just like this. So opening it up, double zipper, this thing is built like a tank. And on the top, you can see this, really awesome. So over here, we can put wallets, we can put your ADC stuff, you can put your food, you can put your snacks, you can put just anything you actually need. And it's right over here. And it is hidden in the false compartment or at the top area. Next thing, there is a second compartment right under the false one. And that one unzips the last of the pack. Unzipping this pack over here, this is where you're going to be putting your camera gear into. Well, this is just one spot. There is two different spots you can put, but this thing is huge. It is just massive hole over here. In fact, if you take out all the whack hole out of this, it can go all the way down as well. But in my case, I put something right here. The whack hole is right in the middle. So you can put your camera over here, you can put your EDC, you can put all kinds of things in here, including your lunch, all together. Now the first thing right here, it features one area for you that you can stick some things that are essential right in the front place. Now the next thing that it features is another one for you as well. So this one is a little bit bigger, it's right over here and you can put a lot more stuff in here in case you need to. So this one is really nice, but the best part about this is that this is just not an ordinary thing here that we are unzipping. In fact, we are unzipping one of the side compartments to this where you can store just about anything you want. So knives you can store right here, you can store motor tools over here, you can store your snacks over here, you can store some kind of filters, gear, or anything you actually need right in this section over here. As a photographer, this is a great place to put maps, to put uh, stuff for your hiking, like lots of EGC things that are enclosed. Now this thing is all together built like a tank, but that's only one side of this that I'm showing you, the front. On the other side, right on the other side of this thing, oh yeah, by the way, this thing is strapped right on the side, there is the straps. So the straps themselves, right here you can unstrap both of them. What you can use those two straps here is pretty much put a tripod right in the back in case you need to. It also has a compartment, hey, if you're into ammo and you are doing things like that where well, you can put bullets right here. That's probably why this thing was designed to look like it. Oh, it's just tactical work that makes it look like it. It's kind of cool. So even if you're not actually somebody who has concealed carry permits, this thing is really made not for that it's made to look like a military thing, but it's mostly for photographers, which is what makes it a really nice photo pack for all your gear. So the next place for you is this location right here. Maybe the most important location of all of them. And this one is really awesome. As you can see over here, you can actually rearrange the vacuum packs and you can take them out and put them anywhere you actually want. So if you want to put your gear, your lenses right here, this is the place for you to stick them in. And you can arrange this any way you want throughout the entire bag. So one, one thing I used here is I put one of the vacuum packs right here 
so this thing just stops it right there and it no longer falls all the way down but you can actually go ahead and put this any way you actually like so the next thing you can see here how it actually looks like and this is a big pack it is not small but the great thing about this is that this edc pack looks very fashionable and it's made really hard like a tank let me show you you can hit it as much as you want it's not gonna go in your stuff is totally secure in this now the next thing about this is putting this on you so this is how it goes on your shoulder you can put it on the right side or you can put it on the left side but the best part you can actually put this tactically all over the head just like this and you can easily just go ahead and move this just like that and get your stuff out of here so right there ready to take pictures you can grab your camera or your lenses right from here and another one is to grab the camera itself you know from the top oh i got the wrong one but you can open the second one in here and look at the size of the thing here so this is the protection you're getting at the top of here and that's almost one inch of protection on this side right here it is built exceptionally well and on the sides and everything this is just awesome the vacuum straps over here you can put all kinds of goodies just to decorate your thing and the only thing is it doesn't have a buckle release here oh talking about back release it was right there so you just go ahead and unstrap this right here there was actually a lock in place here or unlock so you're going to be unlocking it and taking it out now another thing is a safety mechanism over here a back hole and you move it down and it locks this in place so you can't actually accidentally release this so there we go and buckling this one and buckling the second one and we have a release strap for us to release it right off of us in case of an emergency or you just need to get it out quick and fast of all this is really awesome and i really like the way it's really constructed all together overall we are looking at an awesome recon pack that you can use for edc purposes and the rating for this is a little bit complicated i would say as a camera bag this is probably a 9 out of 10. the reason why it's not a perfect 10 is the price is a little bit too expensive for what it is the second thing i dislike about this is just actually it's not really bad in every way i like the, the way but the tube like design is a little bit makes it a little harder for you to get everything out of here so for some people this is awesome because it is very slim and it doesn't take too much space and you can put everything like this but there is a problem of gravity so when you put this down it can you know fall down for your gear so keep this in mind that's the only really the downside about this other than that it's really awesome it looks good you can rearrange everything in here and put this all together from in terms of tactical perspective i think this is pretty great for tactical gear you can put a lot of stuff in here there's a lot of compartments it arrange really well and if you're looking for an edc where you can put everything that you need in different kind of compartments and get all your stuff out this is might be even a 10 out of 10 in every possible way this is built like a tank it has everything you need the only thing is about one strap not everybody is a fan of that one it makes it a little hard on the shoulders if you're going to be carrying a lot of very heavy equipment uh, on you for a long period of time and another thing about this is the strap over here which uh, some of the system can be a little bit on the annoying side because you have to constantly and take this out and zip it out and then you can go right in here but at the same exact time this is another reason why nobody is going to accidentally go ahead and help themselves into your pack because there was this next uh, extra strap here that prevents anybody from unauthorized access right to the top of this thing it's really 
is great made it looks good and above all it's gonna keep all your stuff super safe inside here especially when you have photography gear you need something that's gonna not only be able to withstand the elements it's also be able to withstand heavy abuse or specifically if it's gonna hit something you don't want your gear to get destroyed and this would definitely protect it for you